And we welcome you into the Rowdy Studios. My name is Bass Masters. That's Buzz Cutler over there. Bob Pockers of SceneDaily.com in the middle with breaking news, Bob. I'm breaking news. You're so you, doing something. You talked to Brian Vickers. He took a lot uh, of heat yeah. after yeah, you being know involved. Why he took heat? Because he's a menace. Brian Vickers is well, a menace. Now, wait a minute. I got to tell you something. <laughs> we pointed out the fact that, yes, Brian Vickers was involved in five of 18 of Rex and Martinsville. Sounds like a lot. And we kind of implied that a lot. we I mean, kind of implied that he was at fault. That he was the new Jeff Green. That you know, a lot of guys were <laughs> mad at Brian Vickers and this and that. You talked mm -hmm. to Brian Vickers. What did you? Yeah. Learn? Well, I mean, when you're 25th in the points and you leave a race with 25 guys mad at you, it's it's not you know those two numbers line up. It's that's not probably good. not a good thing, right? Right. So I was just like, oh, maybe Brian has you know. And you, maybe he's apologized for some. Maybe he wouldn't. You know, what's he got to say? And he pretty much, the only thing he felt he maybe did wrong or kind of had second thoughts about was not his retaliation against Matt Kenseth. But just when he did it. But when he did it, because Matt Kenseth was already 30th at the time and, you know, really didn't hurt Matt at all. Maybe cost him a spot or two. But, you know, he feels like Matt ruined his day. He needs to ruin one of Matt's days. Whereas Matt's con contention was, you know, Brian kept rubbing me up, up on the door. He was banging into me so much I just got tired of it. So how did Vickers respond to that? Vickers says... You know, we touched love a couple times, but I would consider it extraordinarily minimal <laughs> for a racetrack like Martin. Mm -hmm. I didn't move him. I didn't hit him. I didn't wreck him. And he just... Just flat dumped us going into three. He didn't feel that that was anything different than what everybody else was, you know, that that way everybody he else was racing. He felt the contact was not excessive with no, Matt Kenseth because they were door to door and, coming and, to the And checkers. here's his point. His point is, I didn't bump him to get to be door to door. Right. I passed I was him just cleanly right. to be door to door. So you know, he's, he's I, I got to that spot, you know, and I didn't do anything to deserve to be door slammed. So I, I guess. Maybe Brian felt Matt had a bit of a hair trigger temper there. And he said, I also thought it was interesting, he said, To just flat wreck someone like that for, for no justified reason, yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty dumb mistake. There's three races left, <laughs> and he's not going to win the championship. Matt Kenseth just screwed himself. Right. Well, yeah, and I mean, it's sort of indirectly because he said he said well, he's no, not going to win right. the championship, and, and that was more from the wreck with, with Kyle, Kyle Busch. But the thing is, is that after the wreck with Vickers, there were some cautions, and and Kenseth guy I think came back out in twelfth or eleventh, yep. and so that kind of put him in position after get by Kyle Busch, and kind of resulted in that whole thing. But but Bob, if we put, let's just put the Matt Kenseth incident aside. We we'll just bracket that over here. Okay? All right. Well, don't. There, he said over there. Don't put it. There were still me. four other incidences in, that involved Brian <laughs> Vickers. Is that is he just saying, well, that's just circumstances, well, well, or is that a pattern? Well, he said that you know uh, he said he just got caught up in the junior Kurt Busch thing, and then what? Which was get, junior spinning out. I mean, it's certainly up. hard to bl blame right, Brian for that. Right. And and junior took the blame for that. He did. Uh, I think the another one was with what Bliss saying somebody. And then another one with Montoya. Yep. He felt like that. He felt like none of those were his fault. He didn't feel uh, McMurray was his fault. I got underneath him, you know, probably three or four times, and he ran me all the way down to the marbles and down to the curve. And you know, the last time he ran me down to the curve, he ran me just a little bit too far. And you know, I got on the curve and got loose, and you know, he ended up getting taken out. Well, yeah, he said Jamie drove him into the curb, right, basically. Right. Yeah. And that he didn't even try to get into Jamie, but Jamie essentially wrecked himself by taking Brian's room completely away. Exactly. And then Jamie made a feeble attempt to retaliate where he missed Brian Vickers altogether, and that was just sad. I th actually, I think he nudged. He, he did. He nudged. He, he got him. a little tiny piece of the But it's, the it's never a good thing when you try to retaliate and you just wreck yourself. So even basically, more. the rest of the field should blame Jamie McMurray because his job was to take Brian well, Vickers why, out why and he didn't do it. You know, guys, guys, guys. Why do you all want to set blame on somebody? Why can't it just be racing? It, because it's the rowdy way. It, it, you know what, Bob? What? It can just be racing. It can just be racing. But all these drivers are getting out of their cars, talk about we need to have fist fights, which is what Tony said. Well, but Danny, to his credit, said everybody just needs to relax. It Everyone is just needs racing. to calm down and but, stop beating on it. But it, when it's race other. 33 or 36. I agree with you, you Bob. I, I agree with you, you have 100%. the patience of this 
tire. It's, it's a tire. very patient tire. Yeah, this mm -hmm. has been knocked around a lot. But let me just ask you this. Brian Vickers, Red Bull is done. He doesn't have a ride for next year. Isn't it possible that he was just pushing, trying to trying to get something that happened, trying to say, hey, I belong, somebody should give me a ride? Isn't that possible? Well, I think he would say to that that after all those wrecks, until the Kenseth wreck, he took a wrecked car and got to seventh or eighth, and that's, you know, when he got wrecked by Kenseth. Um, and, you know, and that shows people what, you know, what he can do. And uh, he doesn't think this will impact his ability to get a job. I mean, it's more, I don't think he was out there pushing extra more because he's looking for a job for next year as much as, you know, again, as we started this thing, he's 25th in points. Right. It's been a crummy can you say crappy? You can say crappy. Say crappy. It's been a, say crappy. It's, this is it's, rowdy. It's been a crappy year. It really Are you not allowed to Vickers. write crappy at scenedaily.com? You can't write crappy. I, I try to do How about in a quote? That. In, in a, a quote, quote, yeah. You could but if do you just that. want yeah. to say crappy, they won't. Yeah. They as won't. far as maybe you just quote yourself. I said crappy. <laughs> you on know, I mean, video. obviously, obviously, Brian has a new perspective on everything after last year, but it's still running 25th in points is not the it, best thing. That is he in a cup ride in 2012? I don't know if there's a full-time cup ride out there for him, uh, but you could certainly see him in a part-time role depending on the, what, how, how, other, how other things shuffle out. Well, it was certainly an interesting Sunday for Brian Vickers in Martinsville, and I just want to say I take back everything bad I said about you, Brian. I listed the interview with Bob, which you can also hear on the Rowdy Podcast, and you're totally innocent of any wrongdoing. For Bob Pockers and Buzz Cutler, I'm Bassmasters. We'll see you next yeah. time. Were you going to make a clever comment there, Bob? No, I wasn't. Because if you're going to, we'll just... We'll yeah, we can, hold, we'll the, can hold the end for your clever no, comment. No, that's right. No, you really. Go ahead. I... Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com. Rowdy.com.